cruising sailboat and uh, yeah let's have a look what's been going on um, and it's been one of those weeks with a few sort of bits and pieces lots of little bits and pieces around and about and, and I'll show you some of that very soon and have a quick talk first let me say out in the forest there behind us we, we're back onto a forest here and there's a harvester out there harvesting trees and it's it's Bit of noise i hope you're not hearing too much of it every now and again a tree comes crashing down or fairly regularly makes you sort of makes you think of sorum and deforesting isengard there um anyhow it's going on it's been going on for a week or so they're taking it quite a few trees out managed forest are there so they'll be replanting well, i hope so <sighs> but here going on i say lots of little bits in many ways the boat's nearing completion that doesn't mean we'll be launching next week or anything there are still as i've said several times there are still several big items to build the keel the masts hard dodger railings plus a few a number of small finishing off bits but but i'm sort of getting into starting on some of those finishing off bits now which is which is very pleasing on the topic of keel i don't know if you if you saw Leo's video, a number of you will have done, no doubt. Leo's video, casting lead last week, where he had a bit of a disaster. Fascinating video. Great that he was you know, completely honest about what went wrong there. And brilliant information for those of us who are, who are preparing to do, you know, similar, let's say similar things ourselves. I've got um, one and a quarter tons of lead to be dealing with coming up this winter. Um, yeah, so big thanks to Leo for his honesty there and, and really useful video, as I say. Uh, anyhow, this week, and last week you'll remember I was, I was working on these bulwark caps, the aft bulwark caps, and had most of it in position, but um, I'm just going to grab the camera and show you something. So yeah, around the aft end here, I've got the cap on top and another batten of, of black locusts around the inside of the bulwarks. And up in this front corners, there's two front corners up there as we go up to the raised deck. I hadn't put the inside pieces on and it looked a bit tatty. So I thought it would be wise to put two pieces on there. So I've got those in. You may also notice I've got look, five coats of varnish on, on now and just spin back round. And I've taken the masking tape off and the next job will be to get the paint, the white paint, tidy up to, to that cap rail and then uh, finish the varnish off after the white paint is all done and tidy. But that's looking very nice, I think. Coming on well. Pleased with that. Thank you. 
Yeah. Man. So the rudder, as I've said before, is not uh, a, a rush item at the moment, so it means I can do a little bit now and again when I've got a few moments, a bit of spare time. And I'm working on glassing around the, the edges of, of the top end of it there. The goal, of course, is to get it all glassed in, sealed in, get these end plates in and finished. But as I say, it's, it's become a bit of a sort of between things job and there's no rush on it. But progress being made there. Yeah, the companion way. Three companion way steps. Maybe one still went for some varnish, but I've got the bottom step pretty much finished. So I've got the, the panel here glossed up, put this bit of serious mahogany trim on, which, which trims and widens the step. Uh, got the step itself cladded with the oak. This is a lift out panel here, uh, which I can't lift out. There we go. It's the lift out panel which will have a catch on it, there we go, lifts out there and just waiting for some varnish, also touched up, a bit of filler over that side where it needed it, and so that's looking quite good. Nice bit of storage, motor batteries going in, in there, the motor batteries going in there plus whatever else I've got room for, and looking good. Also been in the engine room thinking about the, the wiring connections and whatever in there. So a lot of thought going on generally. It's time to get some varnish on this as well.
I've got this locker here that just gives me access to the day tank filler and uh, recess locker for the day tank as I say, uh, diesel tank that feeds the stove, diesel stove. Um, and I wanted to get some kind of drain in there, obviously if, if there was any water leaked in there, it would collect in there and that wouldn't be ideal, so I needed a drain. The plier with this side out here is four centimetres thick there, so I needed to build some kind of you know, bespoke drain fitting for this. I couldn't find anything you know, off the shelf. So I took a bit of stock bronze and uh, turned it up, turned it up with a shoulder on it and then with a hole obviously through for the drainage. Drilled a shouldered hole through the ply there and epoxied that bronze in place and, and it's come out really well. This is where it comes through the outside of the hull. This is my little bronze fitting. And the idea is to put one of these clamshell fittings over the top like that, just to protect it. Yep, 
The old Chinese lathe's been in use for a couple of things this week. You saw me making up the drain for that, that day tank locker. But also my sort of daily go-to tripod that I use for the small camera I, I use when I'm filming me working. Um, gave up the ghost, I managed to break it from years of abuse. And uh, when I had a quick look at it, it, it was obvious that I could mend it, but if I made up a little dowel that would slide down inside the tripod and accept the, the cat piece that had come, it looked like it had been glued on, come unglued. So the old lathe coming into play again, took a little bit of oak doweling and turned it down to the right diameter. Broke my tripod and I think as far as I can tell that part was only glued on there so I'm going to try and mend it. There we go, works. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. As you may know, we have a bit of a Patreon thing going on, so um, yeah, support the project if you like what we do, from as little as, as one dollar a month, or in fact, euro or pound, I believe. Um, over on that Patreon site, there's a few sort of less formal videos, shall we say, talking about aspects of the build. Um, they're available to everybody, so, Get over there, have a look. Other than that, we'll be back. See you next time. Give us your thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button, please. And uh, leave us a comment. Always good to hear from you. See you next time. Bye.